is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, you have the Dow Industrials down 42. You get the NASDAQ up 5. S&Ps are up 6. And uh, when you take a look at this, folks, uh, what we did have uh, 6.30 this morning. That's when the highs were in all the future markets. Uh, they've been uh, in, under some uh, pressure since that uh, time frame. I expect what you're going to see out here today, we're going to have high volatility inside the marketplace. There's one thing of being at highs um, that you can get volatility come in the market, number one. Uh, on top of that, it's going to be all about whether we're going to shut down at midnight tonight or not shut down. I don't expect we're going to shut down, um, meaning the government, but it's, it's going to put enough volatility inside these markets. Uh, Gold, gold is up by 740 right now, trading at 1334. We have silver up eight at eight cents at 1701. Platinum's caught a nice bid, uh, continues to, that's going after uh, its September 8th high. Right now you're at up 680 at 15, uh, you, uh, you're at eight, up 890 at 1014. You got light sweet crude down 44 cents, 63 dollars, 51 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year note down five ticks, 122.09. 30 a bond off 21.48.25 and good old king dollar. King dollar is down uh, 37 ticks, 90.255. The euro is at 122.5 to the US dollar. The yen is trading out here at 110.5 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Uh, now, I'm going to go right to the 10 year note. The bottom line is that you take a look at this 10 year note. Um, Yesterday, what we did not get in this 10-year note is any follow-through. Um, you had the, the price spread in the 10-year yesterday went from 122.19 to 122.11. When you get a breakdown, which we got, you know, we got the breakdown. We, we actually, when we go back to November, I mean, uh, January 9th, uh, we went from 123.16 to 122.31. That's a half a point in the 10-year. You had volume, you had price, you had all of that. Uh, it looks to me that actually today you're going to see a turnaround in this. Now, in order to get, I don't expect this to get back in the range today, but what I do expect is that it's going to start to get back in the range. And why? Well, let, watch this. We're going to go over to the 30 year first. The 30 year is actually uh, still almost two points away from breaking down. Uh, if I take a look at this and we put this inside. The continuous contract, let's get this generic, yeah. What you're going to see, you're at 148.25. And in order for this to break down, we're talking about in a continuous 147.07. So you're coming into that level, bottom line, haven't got to that level, and in fact, you're basically almost two points away from it. We go to the TLT, and we take a look at the TLT. What you're going to see out here today, the TLT back down yesterday, dramatically lighter volume. You haven't hit the lower swing yet. And so yesterday we did uh, 10 million shares versus 14.3. Today you got 1.7. It's already rejected lower price. The TLT has to get under 122.42 to break down. We go from there and we go into the U.S. dollar. And what you're going to see inside the U.S. dollar is that we go over there. Let's go to DX. What you're going to see in the dollar is that the dollar continues to basically get sold down. We hit 89.90 today. You're at 90.250. This is a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. And when you start putting these together, it looks to me that uh, this good old bond market is going to basically save itself from jumping off the cliff once again. We'll see how it shakes out, but that's how it's looking. We go take 
look at the strength versus the weakness inside the, the inside the Dow Industrials. What we have out here this morning, excuse me, folks, um, is that uh, putting negative points into it. You have IBM putting 41 negative points into it. That's down five, um, six dollars. America Express is putting nine. United Health is putting eight. Chevron's putting five. Um, putting some positive points into it. You have the Nike putting 14, Home Depot putting uh, 14, uh, Goldman putting 12. Inside the NDX 100, what we have, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, strength out here this morning inside the NDX 100. Uh, chip stocks. NVIDIA is up 1.9%. You got Win up 1.6. Uh, Autodesk is up 1.1%. Taken away from it, uh, it's all about the, the Apple suppliers. Uh, you get Skyworks down 2.7. Uh, Hologistic is down 2.4. Um, numbers out here, let's go take a look at. So Amazon, folks, uh, this is quite a deal. So let's go over and take a look at Amazon for a second. Amazon right now, and this is going to be a big number fundamentally for Amazon. Amazon hit a high today of $1,313. And right now you're at $12.99. Uh, Amazon plans on going up. Uh, look at this number. Uh, Amazon is boosting the price of its monthly Prime membership for new and existing members by nearly 20%. The online retailer says its annual membership fee of $99 will not change. Starting Friday, new members will pay $12.99 a month, up from $10.99. Uh, qualifying uh, college students will pay $6.49 up from 549 big numbers uh, there's, there's no doubt about that um, that is a big big number uh, percentage wise when you, you look at actually how many prime um, members that they have um, you know they're gonna they're gonna be pulling down some bread they're gonna be pulling down some bread in a big way let's go over to the uh, couple of the gold stocks if we take a look at the GDX out here what you have with the GDX, GDX right now is trading up 17 cents. You're at 23.78. And that's staying over the, well, let's see, 2384 is the B point. Uh, so you, you back down yesterday, you're going sideways. Not a bad, not a, well, we'll see. Uh, bottom line is that uh, if it can get any juice, being a Friday. And what we have had is this. So Fridays are always dangerous in the metal markets. That's the bottom line. What we have had, that being said, is that when it, we've had a strong metal market all week, we've had a weak dollar, you're going to have some volatility out here. So I expect what you're going to see as we're coming up, whether it's 1230, 130, 2.30, uh, is that you're going to see more strength in the metal market. You're going to see less strength and more selling inside the U.S. dollar. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin's trading uh, down 80, uh, 90 bucks, 11,504. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You see the banner on the top of the side. You can hit the banner, bring it up. You'll get a demonstration model. You're going to be able to trade with a demo model to put $25,000 into the account so you can get used to how this whole platform trades. And, and of course, inside the platform, you can trade commodities, you can trade the indices, you can trade the currencies, and you can trade the weekly Bitcoin op, um, spreads. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We get over and we take a look at the uh, oil market. No, you stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 45. You have the Nasdaq up 13, S&Ps are up 7.5. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry. Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is uh, down 27. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 12. S&Ps are up 7. Let's go take a look at the, some of the higher volume stocks out here. And uh, the, uh, the top volume stock out here, this is going to be pretty intense watching this shake out, folks. Uh, it's GE once again. They're dumping this thing and they're dumping it quick. GE's already done 57 million shares. Down 52 cents, $16.25. You have uh, Advanced Micro up 23 uh, Bank of America is up 14. You get Facebook up a buck 73. Um, IBM, IBM is a killer on the way down. That's down six bucks. Uh, we got Nvidia up three. If we go over to General Electric and take a look at General Electric, um, this is so. You GE uh, in the matter of uh, five trading days, six trading days has gone from 1930 to 1624. Uh, the we take this and we put this on a weekly. What you're going to see is that you get a breakdown once again with monster volume. Uh, pretty intense, man. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Uh, the more that this happens, the higher probability is that we're going to go after this, the highs of the lows, uh, which is eleven dollars and thirty-five cents. The bottom line is that um, there's not much stopping this. Uh, you get the fourteen-dollar level can slow it down. But the way we're coming into the $14 level already, we've already done more volume in three days because it was just beginning the fourth day. Then the swing point, well, 1.4 billion. Yeah, we, well, give it, give it about, uh, yeah, give it about another half hour. And in three days, we've done more volume than a full week at the swing point, uh, which is the uh, 11, uh, 1402. So that's saying we're going there. Bottom line is that. Uh, what you have here, let's just, I'm just curious as to who's going to take the big hit here. Let's see. Meaning, who are the large owners and uh, just how fast are they actually bailing out? So if we take a look at this, State Street Corp, September 30th. Let me see the largest. Oh, there you go. Okay, so right at the top, 
You have Fidelity selling. They'll sell all the way down. Uh, their, their last, okay, so picture this. The last filing, which was in September, the next one would be, uh, yeah, we won't get the next one, let's see, January 19th. We're not going to get the next one until like February 2nd. Um, Fidelity, it looks like they sold 25% of their position, but they still own 96 million shares. They'll be selling down. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is this wasn't big news, but this is interesting. Berkshire Hathaway is out. They had 161,000 shares. They sold 8.4 million on the last filing. State Street sold 10 million. State Street's the big one, man. Ooh, baby. They they they're the ones that are trapped like rats in there. They got 333 million. They own 3.85 percent of the company. Fidelity would be second, but this this selling it on the way down. Capital Group, this is going to be a problem for Capital Group. Now, Capital Group, that is a large mutual fund. Normally, what they do is that, um, you know, they, that's normally a pretty good group. But guess what? They are buying. You know, they bought $39 million. They own 3.3% of it now. Uh, Vanguard, Vanguard's up there, too. They're buying, too. Well, bottom line is that uh, that's what makes the market. Um, there's no two ways about that. And uh, what we're going to find out, I suspect, when all said and done, is that uh, GE um, has been cooking their books for years. More than likely what will end up happening is just like a bank. Nothing will, will end up happening. They'll split the company up. Bottom line, they get away with murder. Sad but true. The thing that's amazing about the GE, of course, is that uh, there's so many uh, big funds and people that have trusted GE for so long. Uh, but the bottom line is that they peaked out. Let's say I, I believe they peaked out in 2000. They, they never even come back. Let me just look at this for a second. Now, what's going to be really crazy about this is that you know that GE is the only Dow stock that is still left in the Dow Industrials from the beginning of the Dow Industrials. Yeah, sixty dollars. Yeah, that's, it peaked out in 2000. That's the bottom line. Peaked out in 2000, sixty bucks. First leg down, took it to 21. You had a, it took it to 21. That was in 2002. You had a counter trend bounce up to 42 in 2007. Took it down to five dollars and 72 cents. You had a counter trend bounce. Took it up to 33. Now it's already cut in half, and it's cut in half. Uh, yeah, a couple years. And you can see. Now watch this. This oh, this gets crazy. So when I put this on a quarterly, folks, it's actually already into the high volume bar. So, well, we'll see where it shakes out. But on a quarterly, that's saying it actually get out of $5.72. So there's going to be big trouble uh, in paradise there. Uh, and that certainly uh, really doesn't hit the Dow Industrials because what you do have here is that the Dow Industrials uh, still is all about high-priced equities, uh, certainly not about low-priced equities. If we, if we take a look at it, if you want to see the difference of how it gets hit once again, what you'll see is that you have a indice that's weighted to higher price stocks. So even though percentage-wise, <coughs> GE is down more than any equity out here, percentage-wise, it's only taken four points away from the Dow Industrials. How's that? Isn't that wild? It's crazy, man. Uh, but that's what you get. That's what you get out here. There's no two ways about it. We're going to take a look at, let's go over to the chip stocks, uh, NVIDIA, NVDA. Let's take a look at it. NVIDIA, NVIDIA looks like it's taking its high out again. Uh, NVIDIA right now trading up 359. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's this gap tire. It's gapped over uh, the last highs of the last five days at 227.51. We're going to the XLE. We take a look at what the XLE, now this energy sector, uh, bottom line, there she is. So the energy sector had broken top side. You know, we look at the last three months, you've gone from 67 bucks to 75. That being said, what the energy sector has been doing is coming into its swing point, and it doesn't have the juice to take it out. The swing point we're talking about is $78.45. Uh, we hit that uh, December of 2016. On a weekly basis, you had 90 million shares traded. Last week, we did 67 million. We hit 77. 
Uh, this week we hit 77.65. Um, I do expect we're still going to get get at least tested. Uh, it's got close, but it hasn't tested yet. So the, the test would be 78.45. We hit 77.65. We go take a look at uh, Exxon Mobil, see what Exxon is doing out here. Exxon right now uh, trading $86.00. That's backing down. Now, well, this is interesting. So Exxon's going to have some volume on the back down today. We did 9.4 million shares, 9.2 million shares yesterday. Right now, we're already at uh, 3.9 million. So as we go through this day, um, I do expect what you're going to see uh, this volatility is going to pick up a bit. Let's go to the small caps. So the small caps are catching a bid, where the small caps have been the weakest indice. Uh, we have out here right now. They're up 13 and a half dollars. Um, let's see. So you're, you're at 1555. You stay right there, folks. Come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750 4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow Industrials right now are up two. You get the NASDAQ up 18. S&Ps are up 10 and a half. If we take a look at the percentages out here, you get the Dow Industrials uh, flat. You get the NASDAQ up two tenths of one percent. Uh, S&Ps basically a flat out here, too. Now, let's go over to the gold contract. So picture what you have out here, folks, is that you have a Friday. The dollar continues to basically be weak. Uh, if we take a look at the gold contract, what you're going to see is that we're hanging tough at this 
1334 level. We've hit 1338 thus far. Uh, if we take a look at this uh, intraday, what you're going to see is this. You know, intraday, we had a high this morning at uh, 3.40 a.m. That got up to the uh, 13.38 level. You back down. Now, when we back down, folks, okay, we back down right into the, how we went topside at 2.50 a.m. this morning. Uh, now, what's intriguing about this is that normally you're not going to get big volume at 2.50 a.m. In the, in the morning, but guess what? You did. Uh, we did 8,200 contracts at 2.50. We back down and we back down with eighty one hundred contracts. You talk about a yin and a yang, right? So you're up with eighty two, you're down with eighty one. Now what that would normally mean is that okay, you don't know whether you're gonna get a test on that or not. That's that's the reality. That being said, what you're gonna see next is this is that when we just went topside again at ten o'clock. Guess what? You got volume behind the move again. You did 6,600 contracts. What that is saying is that number one, we're going to go after the high volume from last night, which is 1338. Real question is going to be does it go after the 1340? And in fact, what we do know is that from Wednesday, was it Wednesday? Let's see. 13. No, from Tuesday. That high volume high that we have up here at 13.45 has 500,000 contracts. That is a big number, folks. It's a, uh, that's saying it wants to be tested. That's the bottom line. You know, if we get over and we take a look at the um, Nadex platform, we get into the Nadex platform. What you're going to see out here is you talk about defined risk. So if we go over to the uh, gold contract, we take a look at the gold contract. We go uh, inside commodity spreads. You go inside gold. Uh, we go inside the dailies. What you're going to see here is that these spreads that are trading out were at the 1334. If you went to the 1325 to 1375 level, uh, when we start talking defined risk, what you're going to see here is that on the downside, as you, if you are buying these contracts, now remember something, inside the gold market, these contracts trade until 1.30. They trade until a pit trading. That's how it works, okay? Um, bottom line, uh, you, your risk would be $98 on the way down per contract. Your reward would be 402. Now, it's intriguing about this is that we're trading at 13.34. So you can see the low of this is 13.25, the high is 13.75. And if we take a look at the chart, what you're going to see is we bring this up. These are always sweet when I like them, meaning so we've already tested the lows. What's sticking out like a sore thumb is the 1338, which also is sticking out, though, is the 1345 level. That's that's what's sticking out. If it's 1345, you will see that. You're 98 on that side. On this side here, you're not going to, 1345 doesn't give you 1375. However, that would give you uh, a profit of $100. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about defined risk. If we go back to the, let's just do this for a second. I'll put it up this way. And we go back into the uh, contract. What you are going to see is that because it's a Friday, and this is where the defined risk comes in also, is that we're already moving with volume. We have a high volume high, and the low of the high is actually 1351. So what you have is this. 1345 is game because of the fact that we have a high volume high. If, in fact, we go after that, which is only $10 more, I suspect what's going to happen is that we're going to go after the 1351. I don't expect the 1365. The reason I expect the 1351 is that you're going to be laying right under the high, getting ready to take that high out. Because if we go over and we take a look at the GLD, what you're going to see is that the GLD basically has moved with force. The GLD is at 126.66. The low of the high is 127.29. You know, you're right next to it. That GLD wants to hit it. 
So it's going to be an intriguing day. And I go back to the 10-year the again. The 10-year is going to be the big number out here today. Um, the 10-year, the low is 122.07. And these correlations, you want to wrap your head around these correlations because this bond, um, no doubt, is going to be the number. Uh, and thus far, what has happened is this. You had the fast move down at 9 o'clock this morning, 9.40. Actually, our man, Mr. Larry Pezzavent, was on the air when it was happening. Well, guess what? it came right back inside the range. Now, the range I'm talking about would be a day trading range, but guess what? It came right back inside it. Now, what that sets up, you get a failure on the downside, particularly on a Friday, particularly we get the Senate vote, all of the above. You're going to get a little volatility in here. What that sets up is that, number one, you can get up to the 122.16, and then if we put this on a longer basis, this baby could end... And it'd be really intriguing if it actually could end 122.31. No, I don't see it ending there. Um, I, where my head was going is at the 122.31. That's too far. Uh, if the 10 year, this is what normally happens. If the 10 year can move 15 ticks, that is a monster move, folks, okay? Um, I suspect we're not going to move that much, but I do see that the this could get into um, the 122.18 to 122.20. We've hit 122.16 this morning. And a lot of that has to do with when we're starting the show, uh, going over not only just the notes and the bonds, uh, but going over how the dollar couldn't hold price and the TLT. And, and you know, on top of that, um, the aspect that, uh, once again, uh, everyone's bearish on the bond market in general. And what you can't do is you can't, I, I suspect what, what they're doing is that they're saying the bond market in general. There's a, there's a big differential between a two and five year note, a 10 year note, and a 30 year bond. The 30 year bond, uh, and hey, I'll show you this just fundamentally. So the 30 year bond, we are at 2.9% right now. Well, 2.9% in this past year is smack dab in the middle of where it's traded. It's traded as low as 2.6, as high as 3.2. It's a big number. Uh, and if the bond market's gonna break down, you're talking about two more points on the downside. So volatility, good trading opportunities. Yeah, we have it all out here today. Dow Industrials are down four, NASDAQ's up 17, S&Ps are up 10, Gold contracts up 780, 1335. You get silver up seven cents, 1703. Platinum up nine bucks. Be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining 
combining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are flat. You get the Nasdaq uh, up 20. S&Ps are up 11. Uh, we have the uh, Russell. The Russell is up uh, 15 points right now at uh, 1591. Let's go over and take a look at that Russell. Uh, Russell, which has been the weakest indice, uh, is just hitting uh, intraday uh, highs out here. Uh, the high of yesterday, let's see what we got. The high of yesterday was uh, 1592.10. We just hit 1590. 1591.80, and bring this back a bit. Let's see how we're hitting it. Oh, this is going to be intriguing watching this. So what the Russell just did, uh, we just did get a spike, a good volume spike. Thousand contracts just went through. Uh, so now what you're dealing with is that you're dealing with this uh, 1590, uh, yeah, 1591.10, and we're right at it. 1591.90, uh, that's actually the number. Uh, from yesterday, yesterday. So thus far, so this is what we have. Let's go to the IWM and see how this is shaking out because this is going to tell us quite a bit also. And when I say quite a bit, meaning that as we go through the day, uh, is a deal going to get done uh, not to shut down the government and, and what is the market reaction to it? Uh, my take, uh, you know, thus far, which I said at the beginning of the show, is that no matter whether we shut down or don't shut down, I think we're going to get more selling pressure uh, as the day moves on. Uh, that being said, um, if this Russell 2000 breaks topside, which is the weakest indice, that's going to tell you quite a bit about how this market is operating right now. So we're at 157.76, and the high that we're talking about here, let's see. So the high yesterday is 157.50. We're over that, but it's actually going after the high from the 17th, which is 157.93. And we are at 157.83 right now. So more than likely, you're going to get it tested. Yeah, I expect you're going to get that tested for sure. Uh, if we go inside the Dow industry, I mean inside the Russell, let's go inside the Russell and, and take a look and see what the strength is versus the weakness. Let's see, Russell, how do I get this up? Russell, Russell, Russell. Okay, so if I bring, I think I can bring it up this way. Go inside it. Nope, I can't do it that way. Okay, um, the next, next break, I'll, I'll get inside this thing and see what the strength is versus the weakness. Uh, we go over and we take a look at the, um, let's go into the uh, good old Bitcoin market. So Bitcoin out here. You're trading 11,605. Remember, folks, uh, come uh, Monday morning, so 
If you're over in the Nadex platform, uh, these trade, the weekly spreads trade from 8 o'clock on Monday morning to 3 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Uh, and, and in this particular case, uh, case uh, if you did sell it uh, on the, actually you could have sold it Tuesday morning in this particular case because that's when it was uh, open. Um, bottom line, you would have been in the money pretty good because Tuesday morning was at uh, 13,956. Uh, what we have out here right now is that uh, this is consolidating around this uh, 10,800 uh, area. If you want to see something that's counterintuitive, uh, or that um, bottom line is that what happens at highs in the market, this is pretty intense. So listen to this. This is an article on Bloomberg, which is pretty cool. Um, as, as Bitcoin sinks, crypto brothers party hard on blockchain crews. Listen to this. Uh, 600 cryptocurrency enthusiasts set sail from Singapore this past Monday night for the second annual blockchain cruise. The price of Bitcoin was hovering comfortably above 13,500. By the time the uh, 12 with a thousand foot long boat pulled into Thailand on Wednesday, uh, for an afternoon, a bottle of drinks and crypto focus talks on the beach. Uh, it had gone down 3,500 bucks. Uh, the group of mostly young men, many of whom uh, have become wildly rich, at least on paper, as Bitcoin out of the digital token skyrocketed last year, had in all likelihood lost millions. But if anyone was phased, they didn't show it. The party rolled on as uh, the sangria and Red Bull flowed, Bitcoin themed rap music. Blared and drones filmed it all from above. Nothing goes up in a straight line, explained Ronnie Moes, the founder of Miami Beach-based Standpoint Research, who was one of the event speakers on Wednesday. And in the best case scenario, listen to this, folks, this is sick. In the best case scenario, uh, he said Bitcoin could jump to 300,000 in as little as seven years. Uh, for skeptics of the crypto craze, it's hard not to see how another sign of a runaway exuberance, a repeat of the um, boisterous Las Vegas secur securitization conference uh, immortalized in the big shot. So what had happened, folks, is that the when you securitize mortgages or anything, all right, uh, what, what had happened is that right before the crash, they had a huge conference in Las Vegas. Uh, in the big shot uh, that preceded the subprime mortgage meltdown of 2007. But the steadfast optimism of the display this week in, in the blockchain cruise also carries a warning for anyone betting on a big cryptocurrency crash. It's going to take more than a 50% drop in Bitcoin from its December 8th high to drive out the diehards. Um, this is something that you, this is a quote from one of the uh, diehards out here. This is something that you either uh, believe in or don't believe in the cruises uh, list of speakers. Uh, oh, this is a trip. Go on to Ho Jose Gomez, a former aide to the late Venezuela president, Hugo Chavez. Now, why would you listen to him? Can you imagine? Uh, this is pretty sick. So they're on there listening to an uh, aide to former President Hugo Chavez. The, the reason that he's there with what Venezuela is trying to put together right now is a cryptocurrency for their oil. Pretty wild. Let's go to Marie in Erie, Pennsylvania. Hey, Marie, what's going on? Hi, nothing much. We're we're going to get some warm weather, so we're happy. Thank God. I yes. know. I think of you a lot. It's like, oh my God. You yeah, know, you got you're ready you, to you, pack you, it up. <laughs> yeah. You, well, you got you got hit. Very early, and this yep. cold front coming across the country. Yeah, we yeah. got over 10 feet of snow so far. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, That's hard to comprehend. We Yellowstone, where they would count their snow in feet, and we're starting to say, oh, yeah, okay, we understand. <laughs> that is so cool. That's amazing. So, Caterpillar, huh? Yeah, what I'm trying to decide, uh, I've been in Caterpillar a long time. Okay. And it's been going up so vertically. Um, I didn't know whether to, uh, to just expect some volatility and hang on or whether to, you know, yeah. you don't want to give back too much, but I also, no, it's been a good holding. No, it's a great holding. So let's take a look at this. What I'm going to do is this. If I go back to 2009, this is where we don't want to do the extension. So you're going to see 2009, it's a $21. Makes a run to 100 and 
16. So realistically there, we're talking about $96 for the A to B leg, right? Right. The C leg is at 56, which would be 146, and you're at 169. Yeah, just stay right there, Marie. We'll okay. Come right back. Our phone number is eight. Well, the Dow Industrial is right now down 40. You get the NASDAQ up 12. The S&Ps are up 7.5. We'll be right back with Marie. We're talking about Caterpillar that uh, had an amazing run. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We're talking to Marie, and we're talking about uh, Caterpillar. So, Marie, when I just did the numbers on this, right, you know, if we take this back on a long-term basis, meaning 2009, right. your price projection would be 151.20. And you can see, you know, where it, we're you know. We're beyond that. Yeah, this hit 173. Yeah. So, what that sets up, I mean, yeah, you, you know, realistically, you should get a pullback. Right. Um, maybe you want to sell half the shares. You know, yeah. it's um, this has well, been a great run, you know. Yeah, I hate to know. give too much of it away, but I had been thinking of it as a long term hold, but I didn't expect it to do that. You know, well, yeah, it's a, it's a good, you know, thing, good expectation that, uh, you know, it went over what you thought. That's for sure. Because, yeah. see, what does happen is this is that Caterpillar also, if these metal markets move, Caterpillar is going to end up making more money too. That's, right. that's how, you know, that shakes out. That being said, though, 
you know, how many times have you seen a run like this? You don't see them a lot. You know, no. Bo Boeing has a run like this, but you just don't see them a lot. So, right. In, and the pullback, if we, if the pullback comes in, one sixteen is normal. Okay. You know? Yeah, that'd be pretty radical. Yeah. Yeah, it would. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. But boy, it's hard to. It know. is, and you know what does happen if you. I'm sure we, we listened to Larry this morning. You don't want to sell your winners, and this is a big winner. You know, I know, but you can see. I have a bad you, habit of keeping the bad and selling the good. Yeah, well, you can see though. There's there's a lot less buying up here each and every you know yeah. time up. You know, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, you have a great one. Have a safe one. Okay. You stay right there, folks. Uh, uh, we're gonna have swim lessons coming up next, and I got we are man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, I'll be back this afternoon, folks. Dow Industrials are down 33. NASDAQ is up 9. S&Ps are up 7. You can expect more volatility in the market, folks, as we go through this trading day. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you